You can see how the heat melted the siding of one of the homes nearby. At the same time, the explosion and fire singed the feeling of well-being in this neighborhood. It was just a real loud boom, a sharp boom. It was a shocking and violent way to be awakened on a Friday morning. But that was the morning greeting for dozens of people in this Draper neighborhood near Traverse Mountain. What more than a few did, even amidst intense flames and heat and explosions, was run to the scene to help. Scott Basquette was one of the first. He looked like he was in pretty bad shape. He had uh, burns over most of his body. Um, uh, he had lacerations probably from the glass that, uh, that he had gone through. David Politis was there shortly after. But most of his clothing had burned off. He had a little bit of clothing around his neck and around his waist and crotch area. Um, but the, the flames were getting larger and it was getting hotter in the backyard and we needed to move him. Neighbors know the man, speak quietly about what they know about his family situation. Officials not ready to release his name. What are left are the charred remains of a home and pieces spread to neighboring yards. Toys, clothing, glass and more. And their homes hit by flames too. The siding's been affected and there were windows that were blown out. I'm in shock. You know, I'm, I'm functioning, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a total surprise. Melted the side of the house, yeah. The side of the house. Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, the power of that boom was just crazy. I couldn't believe it. There were worries about the family dog. One neighbor happy to report it's fine. The dog did get out and the dog ran down the street and animal control got the dog. It was a big fluffy black and white collie. Upsetting, violent and mysterious. It's a massive house fire that's the talk of this neighborhood. At the same time, this incident has had the odd effect of bringing people together, neighbors as well as families. Richard Pyatt, KSL 5 News, Draper.